Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts. Um, coming to you today with another tutorial. Um, and again, I'm going to be doing a um, altered box. And this box is actually one that um, I received some cosmetics in. It's a really nice one. It's got a it's got a a magnet in this part of the the lid so that when you close it it magnetizes down. Hold on, I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit. Move it out just a tad. Um, anyway, it's a really nice box, really well made. It's cardboard, but um, sometimes I alter cardboard boxes only if they're super good quality. Um, <laughs> the only problem, and I'm sorry for this you guys, is that I was cutting out this paper to put it on so that I could show you during the tutorial how I you know put the paper on and I went ahead and put it on myself without thinking so I'm really sorry about that but I think most of you probably know how to you know cut out your paper I do have a um, uh, what you call it one of those thingamabobs that you you put the um, you put the lines in it and it, it scores, a scoring board. Um, so I did score it, you know, at all of the edges and so forth. I don't know why I always forget my words when I'm doing these videos. It's insane. Um, anyway, so I did score the edges. If you don't have a scoring board, you just need to be careful and really, really fold those edges over so that it it goes with the box, um, especially if it has a lid like this. Now, if you have a box that just has a lid that comes up, not as important, but you'd still want to have the sharp corners. Um, and then in this case, I left the edges in this teal color. Um, and then I also, what I did was I put this beautiful um, floral paper in the bottom of this one. So it kind of goes with the box. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. And, and again, you guys, I'm really sorry that I did that. Also, what I want to try and do, if I have enough time, is this is a little eensy weensy teeny tiny uh, tin that I want to alter. And let me get my uh, ruler here. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. This is really, really, really tiny. And... So with my ruler, this tin is about two and a fourth inches wide by, uh, let's see, I gotta look at it, one and three fourths deep this way. And then you open it, it has a hinged lid, and you open it and it's just the tin on the inside. Now I bought these little tins on Amazon and they're super fun to work with. And these just so happened to be painted white already. So I didn't have to paint them at all, which made me kind of do my happy dance. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna try and do something with that at the same time, uh, if we have enough time left over after I finish this box. So since we're only going to be embellishing this box, um, hopefully we'll have some extra time. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and around the inside of this, you know, you can still see some of the cardboard down at the bottom of the box. So I want to edge that with this pretty uh, trim that I got from um, Kiki. Well, I got this, this trim from Debbie Cottrell, and I don't know if she's going to have it in her uh, Facebook shop or not. It's called Kiki's Sale. Um, but this is some trim that she sent me in a Happy Mail pro uh, package uh, recently. So I'm going to be using that. And the first thing I'm going to do is in this first corner, I am going to tack it down with a dot of hot glue. But I'm not going to use hot glue all the way around it. So I just want to get it tacked down so that I can do the rest of the gluing and not have it be so difficult. So at least this way it's stuck. Um, what I'm going to be using in this to go around the edges is I'm going to be using my E6000 because it will stay 
better than uh, better than hot glue. And I'm going to open my E6000 package because I want to start a new a new tube. So I'm sorry about that. I meant to have that out and ready. So E6000 is the adhesive that I'm going to be using in this. Um, works really well, and it it's has staying power so um, when you use this adhesive you know that whatever you're gluing is going to last a long time so okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this E6000 and I'm just gonna put a bead all the way around the inside of this box but where I'm gonna put the the glue is along this edge not on the bottom because I want the the um, trim to go up along the outer edge. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to put a bead of that all the way around the box. Just a... Since I have a new tube of this E6000, it'll go on very nicely and quickly. <laughs> I don't have to worry about all the ooey gooeys that get stuck around the outside of the tube. Because there are none. And sometimes that stuff gets in your way. I try to keep my E6000 tubes clean, but you know, they just they just get messy over time. And I use this every single day in my crafting. So Okay, so I'm going to go around with this trim in the entire inside of this box. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'll try and make it so you can see it better than I can. Uh, I can basically feel what I need to be doing here. And I want it to go down along that bottom strip and then I'm in the corners I'm going to put a dot of hot glue in each corner so that I can make sure it tacks down and I'm not going to be pulling it out as I go along. Because the E6000, unfortunately, unlike hot glue, it's not going to stick immediately. So you have to wait for it to, just a few minutes, for it to get a little more sticky so that your, um, the fabric or the, the threading from this uh, trim will um, finally stick down. So we're going to put a little, another little bead of hot glue in the corner and we're going to go down along this corner and stick it on the hot glue. Got a little extra on that corner there. Okay, and then I'm going to go down This box is kind of awkward <laughs> because of the closure part. Okay, so then we're going to go down along this, this edge here. Put another bead of hot glue in that corner. stuck down and then I'm gonna do this last corner and I'm not gonna hold the box up to do this corner or this edge I'm just gonna try and get it done here okay I want the the finish to be nice on this so I want to be able to see what I'm doing here and where I need to cut this off and add this last little bit of hot glue and I'm not going to be cutting this off I'm just going to lay that last piece of trim down in that corner and we will be set okay I just like to add a little finish on the inside because you know when you have that little bit of cardboard showing it doesn't look very um, appealing and um, 
especially if you're going to try and sell your pieces, you want to make sure that they're finished off and neat and tidy. So um, I like to always, well, and if I'm giving them as gifts as well, I don't want to give something to somebody that's subpar. Um, so, okay, so now we've got that in there. And I'm just sort of tacking everything down one more time, making sure that that E6000 is going to stick. And we got it on all parts of this box, so we should be good. I just wasn't wasn't looking at it real closely, so I don't know if I got it down exactly in the right spot. So I'm just adjusting now to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Okay, all set. Okay, so the inside's nice and clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the outside. And what I'm gonna be using to embellish this, first of all, I'm gonna put a, a strip of this across the front. And I am going to use my hot glue gun to tack it down and my E6000 because I don't want this to come off easily. So real quick, we're gonna put a dollop of that there. And then I'm going to go across the front of this, and I left a, a space really at the bottom of this where the paper uh, didn't come to the edge. And I did that purposely because it's, I am of the opinion, sometimes when you have to bring something all the way up to the edge, which is what I did on the bottom because I really had to, but I kind of brought it around the corner. But this edge is going to be touched and, and manipulated more. Um, so I feel like if I bring it to where I did, which is not completely to the edge, and when I put this trim over it, this trim is also going to hold that um, decoupaged paper down so that it doesn't come up. Um, from use so that was the purpose for me doing that and um, you know some people may differ with that but for me I'd rather um, keep that paper stuck and not going and know that it's not going to go anywhere um, I need to put another dollop I think my my hot glue kind of dried before I got down there <laughs> um, so there and this way, the hot glue is the only reason I'm using the hot glue on this is to tack this piece down so that it has a chance to adhere to the E6000. Make sure that when you do that, if you have this type of a closure, that you don't glue it down to this, this piece here or to the bottom. You need to make sure that there's no, no glue there that's going to make that stick and you're not going to ever get it open to be able to use it for anything. Um, okay, so that's what that looks like. Just a simple trim across the front. Um, and then what I want to do, I think, is, let's see, what do I want to do? I was thinking I might put some rhinestones along this edge, but the way that this box opens, I'm not certain that that's a really good idea. So I think what I might do is just put maybe some rhinestones across the front of this box. And I'm just gonna use some of my four millimeter rhinestone chain. This is what I'm gonna be using. And this is something that I buy on Amazon. It comes on a roll, 10 yards. And I will put a link to this chain um, down in the description menu so that you know where you can get it if you'd like to purchase some. And in this case, normally I would put my rhinestones on so that they're facing up. 
in this case I'm going to face them out towards the front of the box and um, the reason for that is that it, I just feel like I'm, I'm in this case I'm more dressing up the front than the top because I'm going to be embellishing the top of this box like crazy um, so I think that I'm better off just putting this chain across the front and I have my measurement so I'm going to go ahead and clip this chain to the length that I need it. I'm going to take my E6000 again. We love E6000. It is our friend when we are doing projects like this because it's going to uh, reassure us that um, our pieces are going to glue down, they're going to stick down, and once this stuff cures, it's going to stay down. Your uh, rhinestones or your, your embellishments, um, especially if they are jewelry type embellishments, are not going to come off easily. If you drop it, they're not going to just break off um, like they would or they could possibly with hot glue. Hot glue just... Um, it's great in the beginning, but it loosens up and becomes, uh, I, I think it just kind of gets kind of brittle or dried out, and then it just stops wanting to stick. So eventually hot glue is going to let go. So, okay, so now we have our rhinestones and our trim on the front side of this box, and this is again the opening of the box okay and it looks really pretty just like that it's a really pretty box but if any of you were able to see my video um, and if you haven't check it out I have a video on how to embellish um, appliques this is a peacock that I embellished in that video. This is the very same one that I embellished and I've been holding on to it waiting for the perfect uh, project to put it on. Um, this peacock, when I started, this is, this is what it looked like. It's just a plain um, applique that um, it's really very beautiful, but once you do those embellishments, it just makes all the difference in the world. So, so it went from this to this. And so what we're gonna be doing is, I am going to be putting this on the top of this box, across the top, somewhat like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, this box is gonna be really pretty when it's done. Um, but I wanna put a couple of other items on here first because I like to um, pay attention to, say, the corners of my boxes and things like that, um, just because it kind of makes me feel better if I, um, if I add some more finishing touches to them. So I'm going to do that now, and it's stuff that's fairly easy to do. Um, what I have is I have these... Uh, filigree pieces that I purchased on Amazon and they are corner pieces for very nice very cool huh <laughs> um, sorry you guys that was my husband he was making a doing a project outside he brought it in to show me um, and it's really cool <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna be doing on these is I'm gonna be putting these pieces on all four corners of this box to just kind of finish it off. Now here you'll see right here these are going to kind of overlap a little bit. That's okay. We, we're not going to worry about a little overlap because it really does add um, to the box and it really looks pretty. The only thing I need to consider on this box is that this edge is kind of um, kind of different and I might have to, I think I'm going to have to pull it in just a little bit to there 
instead of taking that back piece all the way to the edge. So that's the way we're going to be doing that. And now I'm debating. Maybe I just want to do the front two corners. I think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to do the front corners of this box with these little filigree pieces. So I'm going to take my E6000 and I'm going to go along the bottom here. Get a good, good amount, but not too much so that it's all oozing all over the place. We don't like ooze. We just want it to stick and stick well, but we don't want, you know, we don't want to look at glue like it's oozing out of my thing here, um, oozing out all over the place on your piece. Because we all know there's a lot of people that are very particular about not seeing that sort of thing when they purchase something or when they get a gift it's like oh gosh this wasn't very well made they didn't pay attention to detail so um, I like to try and make sure that I do pay attention to those kinds of details because um, you know when I get something I like it to be well made so um, so we've got the filigree on the edge of the box going towards the front corners and now I'm going to add our peacock. Actually, no, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Um, I know that I've shown you some of her stuff before. Um, Debbie Cottrell is my friend and she has the shop, the Facebook shop called Kiki's Sale. And she sells some of the most beautiful embellishments and bling and things like that. And I have gotten um, several pieces from her. That is where this peacock came from. Um, and some of these other great embellishments. Now the other thing that I got from her, these little corner pieces are really pretty and actually would probably look really nice on this box too if I stuck a couple of these corner pieces on there but since I've already put the filigree pieces on there I don't want to add that but these are corner pieces that go really nicely on um, on boxes or or other things that you might be embellishing with lace and things like that um, so I got those from her I got these little um, these little appliques in pink and and white it's actually a, a sort of an ivory color so pretty. I got this little angel. Um, I got little baskets and these half butterflies that are so pretty. Look at those. Aren't those cute? And let's see. Oh, and look at this. This is an applique that she sent me. Can you believe that? This one is already embellished with pearls and sequins and seed beads and so forth, but Oh, I can't wait to use that on a project. I don't have one ready yet, but when I do, I'm sure you guys will see it. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the great things that I've gotten from her. And I know that one of the things she's going to be having in her sale, and I think she's having a sale this Saturday, so if you get a chance to um, get into her shop, what you have to do is you kind of have to do it in a roundabout way. She has um, another... Uh, Facebook group called oh gosh it's called let me pull it up here for you all um, let's trade crafting supplies and sell your creations now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my phone this is her crafting page that um, you want to go into so that you can um, there we go so that you can um, get to Kiki sale she's having some technical problems with the Kiki sale page right now in that she's not able to do anything with it and for some reason it's not accepting new joiners because of the way it's set up so um, 
actually your your best bet is right now to just friend Debbie Cottrell and I'll put this information in the drop down menu so that you can get a hold of Debbie and and become part of her Kiki sale group she does sales every other week usually on a Saturday night and everybody just she tells you what time the sale is going to be usually it's for me it's eight o'clock Pacific time because I'm on the um, California coast and so um, I get in there and everybody's just sort of she lists what she has she tells you how many or how many yards or what have you and you go in there and you tell her what you want and try and get in there and get it before it's all sold out and she normally sells out of just about everything every week so um, but it's a fun process and she's very very um, ethical she's very very responsive if you have questions I mean she's on it when she does that sale she's available to you during the sale to answer any questions that you have so I encourage you to get with Debbie Cottrell friend her and she will get you into Kiki's sale group and um, also her um, trade let's trade crafting supplies group that's an amazing group of women and men I suppose I don't know if there's any men in the group right now but there could be if you want um, that trade crafting supplies say somebody has things that they aren't using anymore and they need something else they put up a bunch of their crafting supplies and say hey I have these and I need this if anybody has that would you like to swap so then they just swap and each person sends the other you know the items that they wanted it's a lot of fun great group of people very um, it's been around for a little bit I've been part of the group since day one and um, it's just a really neat group of people that really care about each other they're um, they have a lot of fun with that that site so okay so this is what the peacock is going to look like on the top of this we're gonna start gluing that on and getting ready to do some of the other embellishments that we want to put on this. So I'm going to put a dot of hot glue just kind of here and there. I want to make sure I lay this down exactly where I want it to be because once I get that down it's not going to be easy to change so <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go along and I'm just going to sort of put E6000 around on this peacock. Mostly around the edges. I want to make sure the edges are down. And then some right across the middle here. And then I'll put some dots of hot glue around okay and then we're going to lay this down exactly where we want it to land and voila and I am oozing E6000 all over everything now you know when you get a new tube of this E6000 I'll tell you it just goes to town with wanting to get out of that Tube. Okay, so our peacock is down, and now I'm going to embellish with a few other items. And what I wanted to do is take, um, let's see. Oh, here it is. Uh, I want to take one of these um, feathered pieces, and this is something that I got at Hobby Lobby. I think they have them for $1.50 a piece. Um, on a normal day. I got them, I think, half off at Hobby Lobby when I went there um, just a little while back. And I think I'm going to take and I'm going to put that up in this corner here. So, but what I want to do first is I do want to clip off a portion of the stick at the bottom because I don't want that to show. It's not very pretty. And I'm going to take my E6000 and I'm going to drizzle some on the back of that stick 
on the very back. Close up my E6000 and then I'm going to take a little dot of hot glue and I'm trying to be careful and neat about this because I don't want to get a bunch of stuff stuck all over this and make it look sloppy. So, And we all know what hot glue can do when it escapes. So I'm just going to press this on here, hold it down for a minute, and make sure it is secure. And then it's going to finish drying, and once it dries, once that E6000 dries, it'll be stuck on there and we'll have no worries. I'm thinking about using this butterfly, um, and this is also extremely pretty and sent to me in Happy Mail by another friend of mine. And I just, I'm trying to remember, did Debbie send me this or Barbara? Um, I have another friend by the name of Barbara, and she sends me some really, really gorgeous pieces. This is a woman, I have to tell you all, that has an enormous heart. Um, she is the sweetest, kindest person, and she's always doing nice things for me and everybody else, not just me. She just is a kind-hearted person and she wants to help everybody she possibly can. Um, so she sent me when I was struggling with being able to um, purchase many supplies, she actually helped me out and she sent me some happy mail and sent me some stuff that was just amazing and it helped get me through a time when I was really short on being able to buy a lot of extra supplies. So I really appreciate her and her friendship and the kindness that she showed me when I really needed it most. Um, so thank you, Barbara. Um, and Debbie knows too. I absolutely thank her for all of the things that she's been sending me um, over the, the last couple of months. I know I'm helping her with her, her shop too, but you know, she just doesn't really have to send me all the great stuff that she does. Um, I would, I would plug her shop no matter what, because that's how much I believe in her and her, um, and her business. So I really feel like she's, she's just an amazing woman and she deserves help with her shop too. So I'm just trying to come up with some different little flowers and things to put on this to kind of add add to the embellish the embellishments. Um, but I want to make sure that I get the right colors going on and don't over populate this with too many. These little um, plumerias are so cute. I get them at Joann's. They have kind of a thick um, bottom to them because they're made to, to do beading with. And so I always end up, there, but they're like foam. So I always end up cutting off, um, cutting off the bottom piece and then using them. I just hope I'm not overdoing this with, this, with these flowers. Butterfly is pretty, but I don't know if it was the right thing to put on there. Darn. You know, I think I'm going to take that butterfly off. And I'm going to go with something a little bit flashier. Oh. That's a little too big. Oh boy. Um, okay. So this is what I do to myself. I get in a, get myself to a point where it's like, okay, I think, okay, that will be pretty. I think we're gonna use this. Um, but what I need to do is I do need to cut off these loops at this end. So I just take my nippers
and I'm cutting off the loops. And I'll show you real quick. The loops are these right here. It's got the jump ring on it so that you can hang it uh, on a necklace or what have you, but that's not what I'm going to be doing with this piece, so I'm going to go ahead and get those little edges off of there so that I can use it on my box. And then there's one on the underbelly too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have that sort of coming off underneath that flower and um, feather piece. Cap my E6000, get that on there. I'm going to add using E6000, just going to put a dollop on there, and I'm going to add a flower right there. Well, maybe I should put a a dot of hot glue. Okay, and maybe a flower right there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this ooze of E6000 there put a dot of hot glue on this flower and glue that puppy down. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. This is what the inside looks like. What a great gift box this would be and then to be used as maybe a jewelry box afterwards or what have you. I think that would be so nice. Um, I was thinking about trying to use a couple of these stamen pearls um, somewhere on here. I'm going to twist those up. Uh, maybe I think I will. I think I'm going to put some coming out right here. Put a dot of hot glue on these. And gosh, I hope this works out. <laughs> I didn't test it first, but that's okay. I'm usually pretty good at eyeballing what's going to look nice. Um, I'm going to just kind of tuck those under there and sort of spread them a little bit. There we go. There. That looks really pretty. Okay, and I don't want to go too crazy on embellishing this. Um, I'm not going to use any of these flowers, but I do want to put one more piece on it, and it's going to go on the front, and it's going to be this little heart button. Isn't that cute? And I think it'll look really, really pretty on this, so I want to add that to the front, and then we will be done with this box. Um, let's see. I'm going on 40 minutes with this video. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do another, a separate video on the, the little um, pillbox that I'm going to do because I don't want to take too much time on this video. So um, what I may be doing is I may be just posting two videos today. That's all. 
which is okay. I'm okay with that if you guys are. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing in my next video before I close out this one. Okay, so I put that little heart right there on the box. And there's your, there's your box. There's the bottom and the front and the top. And I'll open it up and we have the inside. Super duper pretty. And um, this box was, again, it was a cardboard box that came from some cosmetics that I purchased. And you guys would probably laugh if I told you what I bought and got suckered into. Not really suckered into, because I really kind of like it very much. Uh, I can't tell you what brand it is or anything, but you know those little commercials that they do or the, the Facebook ads that they do on that stuff that you dab under your eyes to pull out the wrinkles. <laughs> That's what I bought. <laughs> um, I got pulled into a salon in, in Las Vegas when my husband and I were there last week. And of course they put it on my face and my husband's face and they talked me into buying it. So it was expensive, you guys. I really shouldn't have done it, but I did and I like it. It, it really, um, does help with the wrinkles so I figured you know what I'll use it very sparingly and I will use it um, you know when I go out and things like that so anyways I have three really pretty boxes this is one of them because it came with the the initial product and then a couple of other products that of course they threw in because you know they made so much money off the first stuff that I bought <laughs> So anyway, you guys, um, thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me show you. This again is the pill, the little tin that I'm going to be doing my next video on, and I will probably be doing that also today. Um, right after I close this video out, I'll be doing that one. And let me show you what I'm going to be making out of that so that um, you know if you want to stop over and see the tutorial it won't look exactly like this one but i'm going to embellish it and this is this is just a tiny pill box and this is one that i've already embellished and made really super pretty this one has lace and and paper flowers and acrylic flowers and some bling and stuff on it and here's another one that i did i'll go ahead and pop it out as well so you can see it and this is how this is how I package these little um, pill boxes just so that you know when I sell them I package them up in a little organza bag so that they'll be pretty and so here's the other one that I did super pretty and that's the inside it's just a silver tin just painted white I didn't paint it it was already painted white when I bought them um, and they're just super duper pretty. Um, so that's what I'm going to be making in my next tutorial. So um, if you want to see that tutorial, stay tuned. And I'm certain you will enjoy it. Um, it'll be a good one. And um, also I wanted to remind everybody that if you haven't already stop by and visit my Etsy shop this box will be going into my Etsy shop um, but I also have um, a lot of other things I've got those oh and I wanted to show you one of the things that um, Debbie is going to have in her store this time around is she's going to have some paper flowers that she's going to be selling now this is a project that I also did a video on I'm trying to figure out which sides the front and which sides the back um, yeah this is another tin that I did um, and I did a video on it this is just an open up top comes off kind of tin um, and it came out absolutely gorgeous but these flowers except for this one in this corner these flowers in here are all flowers that I got from Debbie, and she's going to have these flowers for sale in her shop this Saturday. So if you want to get a hold of some of these beautiful paper flowers, um, I would encourage you to um, jump over to her shop on Saturday night 
uh, Kiki's sale and get some of those flowers. They are amazing. I'm out of them. I used most of the ones she sent me in this box um, because she just sent me a few freebies, but they're gorgeous and they're easy to work with and all of that good stuff. So, um, and this box, just so that you know, this box is also available. Oops, where am I? This is also available in my um, Etsy store. So get on over there and have a look. I've got some of these too, and you know, I'm really surprised they haven't really moved yet. These are um, paper clip magnets. And if you can see on the back, I've put magnets on these, these guys. And I sell these in my Etsy shop. Um, and they are so, so pretty, but they're huge paper, uh, not paper clips, clothespins. They're huge clo clothespins, and they work so great for hooking um, your refrigerator photos on or your notes that you need, you know, doctor's notes, things like that that you need to keep on your refrigerator or your grandchildren's art, whatever you want to put on your fridge. But I've got some really, really pretty ones, and these aren't all that I have in my shop, but these are some that I made that are absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if maybe I'm not doing the pictures justice on my um, in my shop or what have you, but some are more simple, sort of like this one. Um, some are more embellished. So uh, yeah, head on over there, take a look, and this is also another tin that I did using um, Debbie's flowers. These were the other ones that I had. Um, so this is another tin. And this one says, keep your, your head heels and standards high. And I love that saying. So this is a, a tin that I did. And I have this for sale in my... I don't know what's wrong with me. I think my camera's upside down. I think that's what my problem is. Um, anyway, so this is another one that um, I have in my Etsy store that I think you guys would really enjoy. So um, anyway, have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you all for subscribing. And if you haven't already subscribed, please, please hit the subscription uh, button down below and the bell so that you can get notified for future videos. And I appreciate every single one of you that has subscribed to my channel. Um, looks like pretty soon we'll be um, hitting uh, hopefully the 1700 subscriber mark. And then at 2000, I will be doing another giveaway. Um, so um, I just wanted to let you all know if you have friends or family that might enjoy my videos, have them hop on over and subscribe so that we can get that number up there quickly so that I can do another giveaway. Um, I think that um, you all know whatever I put um, in as a giveaway will be something very nice. I don't, I don't skimp on that sort of thing. So if I'm gonna do a giveaway, it's gonna be one of my nicer items. Um, so make sure y'all subscribe and I will be giving you more information as it gets closer to that um, 2,000 subscriber mark and um, let you know what, what I'm going to be um, giving away and uh, what I'll do is I'll probably do a tutorial on something that I'm going to be giving away and that'll be my initial video to say. Make your comments so that um, as soon as we hit that that mark, um, then um, I will be selecting random, a random winner for that. Oh, this is another one of my clothespin. Um, did I already show you this one? I may have already showed you this one. I think I did. Never mind. Um, anyway, you guys have a great day. Have a have a wonderful rest of the week, and I will be uh, popping up shortly with another video. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.